<laughs> you, you bring up a really interesting point about, you know, how he came to the selection of Eddie and Jay mm. Zeus on the wing versus Reese Nelson just in his natural position in his best nine through the middle. And it's funny because the rumors of Trossard's injury did come out the day before. And yeah. I started seeing it online. And I was like, here we go. <laughs> it's happening. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then I was in a group chat and I was, I was talking to my friends and I was just like, do you think there's any chance Mikel Arteta plays in Kedia? And they said mm. no. And I was like, you don't, y'all do not know Mikel Arteta the way I feel like I know Mikel Arteta. Because somehow yeah. Eddie and Keddy is getting in this lineup. Somehow, yeah. some way, he's going to be in this lineup. True. And he was, you know, and he was. And I just, I struggled with it just because I didn't really understand, like you said, if, if Nelson is this guy that you trust that we gave this new deal to, why isn't he the natural choice as somebody who's probably the closest to stylistically to Martinelli? You know, 100%. if you wanted to get at Spurs, I thought one of the biggest things was to make those fullbacks defend, because I don't think they're great defensively at all. And they showed themselves not to be. I think we did really well on the wings against them. So just put Reese Nelson in there. But he made this like big call to put Enkedia in. And, you know, I feel like people are getting increasingly more frustrated with his inclusion. Now, yeah. he didn't have a good game. At all, I don't think. I don't think he added very much there. Um, he struggles to, like, sometimes link play the way that Jesus does, and I think just, like, naturally that stops Arsenal from being fluid. But you said that, like, you think the stick is too much. Explain that to me a little bit, because I feel like, as much as I feel like I don't want us piling on players, I feel like I do understand the frustration around watching a player that is probably clearly not at the level continuously get playing time over others being like shoehorned into the team you know what i mean so like yeah yeah like what are your thoughts on that because it's just well, like i am i personally i am frustrated but i'm almost tired of having the eddie conversation but until arteta just stops playing him so much i feel like we're going to continuously have it you know and i think that's the i think that's the key thing like for me it's become an arteta thing not an eddie thing mm -hmm. eddie has eddie has shown us his best and his worst at his best He's a bit of a nuisance. He certainly gets in good goal scoring positions and he works bloody hard on the pitch. Like he works so hard. And, and I don't want to take that from him because people say, yo, that's the, that's the least you should do. No, but he goes above and beyond. Like he does work really hard. And, and I want to give him that. Where I say the stick is too much is it's like he didn't pick himself for this game like Arteta did. And also he could have played Eddie out wide. I'm. I might be in the minority. I don't think Eddie's been a disaster when he's played out wide. You know, you look at Goodison Park a couple of years ago when he came on and made a real impact. And I think in preseason he did okay out on the left. But I think the main thing is you keep Jesus down the middle. So the, the first, when, when I say the sticks too much, it's, I am. I, I think I'm with everyone. If, if you found an average of where everyone sits on Eddie and Ketty, I'm there, you know. Not good enough to lead the line for Arsenal. Certainly not in a title-winning side. Can you play a part in a squad? May yes, maybe just, but like I'm not overly convinced about that either. I think you still want to be able to bring on an Ivan Tony and have other real quality options in that sense. But I think it's a question of Arteta now. Like I think it's a question of you gave this guy a new deal. You gave this guy a hundred, um, well, a hundred grand a week, but that's not important. But like obviously, you know, you basically shown faith in him by by fairly significant financial outlay in terms of the contract you've given this guy the number 14 now more power to eddie like i'm happy for him you know as a good on you but but from an arsenal perspective you know they're questionable decisions and like you said when there is a certain way we've kind of played you wonder why reese nelson wasn't seen as the more light for light when everything i've just said about the faith he's shown is eddie he's kind of shown reese nelson in like a a smaller way in a more bite-sized way and when I was watching the game yesterday and the 11 came out, my first thought was, I don't hate this. Jesus running at their fullbacks, great dribbler, causes chaos. He'll come inside and alternate with Eddie. I, I, you know, the 11, it's, I don't mind. But what I don't want, and, and you'll know what Twitter's like, when people go, we weren't complaining about the 11 before. And you went, yes, but also I'm not privy to all the information Arteta has. I will give the 11 a chance. 
And then if it doesn't work, I have every right to criticize it because his plan hasn't worked. And someone made a great point that this game was very similar to the Brighton home defeat last season. First half, actually, we the game plan was sit off them, respect that they're good on the ball, but try and win the ball back, you know, pick your moments to press, create chances in transition. And I actually, we did that quite well. But then there were moments where I was looking at Jesus on the left wing and going, OK, I kind of get he needs to help Zinchenko here. But otherwise, like we are, like he's way too deep. Like Romero and Van de Ven will love that he's on that side of the pitch. And that's where I think Arteta really got it wrong and where I just want to lean the criticism towards Mikel rather than Eddie. Eddie didn't show us anything yesterday we didn't know about him. He wasn't involved in build-up play. Oh, shock. Like, <laughs> cool. Like, he's improved in that sense, but he doesn't do it very well. Um, and if he doesn't get chances, he's not going to do too much. And... I don't know. And then I think people were just kind of finding anything. Like, you know that chance he had where Udogi played the ball back and, and he's through on goal mm. and he has that shot from a tight angle? Like, I, I think that's a difficult chance. Because he's close to goal, it's kind of seen as you should bury it or you should square it to, Ed, uh, to Vieira. I thought he should have squared it. I'm not going to lie. But that? then I'm not on the pitch, so it's probably more difficult. But I'm like, you're not yeah. ever making that <laughs> Yeah. yeah, well, that's it. Like, he should have looked up. I, I think if Martinelli misses that chance, everyone goes, oh, tight angle. I think this is what I mean. But I think also mm. Arteta's putting Eddie in that position a little bit. But, I mean, because you say you're kind of, um, you, you've kind of made your mind up on Eddie. Is that like, yeah. in terms of him as a squad player as well, do, do you just think ultimately he doesn't really have that big a part to play in this going forward? I think for me, it's... It, it's two different things. It's, um, I think Eddie could be a part of the squad. Like, but when I say a part of the squad, I mean, down on the pecking order, more near Reese Nelson and Emil Smith. Not the first guy off the bench, not the guy you're shoehorning in to start, not, you know, starting ahead of Jesus in some circumstances, not that, you know, not starting the North London Derby, you know? Um, and I think that's where I'm kind of at with this, where I feel like Eddie's almost a little bit of a blind spot for Mikel Arteta. Like, he mm. loves him so much. He loves his professionalism and the way that he trains and his energy so much that he's maybe seeing a player that I can't see. That totally yeah. frustrates me, and I just don't feel like is at the level. But I'm trying not to stick the boot into him so much because, like you said, he's doing everything that he can. Like, it's not like... He's out there walking, you know, it's not like he's out there, you know, not giving his absolute best. Like this is who he is, you know, and it's, it's just frustrating, you know, to see. So yeah, I am frustrated by it. And, you know, I do think that his, his level, I think his, the respect that he has in the squad and like the part in the hierarchy that he is doesn't really align with the level of talent. But I also know that Mikel Arteta doesn't always rate talent as highly yeah. as your work rate and stuff like that. 